on Councillor Robert Harris to bring greetings. Good evening, everyone. I'm quite disciplined. The young lady said that um, it should be a brief speech, so I will be very brief. <laughs> I bring you greetings on behalf of His Worship, the Mayor, Alderman Kazim Hussein, and all the members of the San Fernando City Council. I must say that I am pleasantly, pleasantly pleased to actually be a part of something like this. Um, Having a performing arts background myself, I want to applaud all the parents who actually put in the time to have their children perform the way they did tonight. <laughs> One thing I remember, and I was looking at it, I wasn't trying to be a critic or anything like that, but they have stage presence. The performing arts is more than knowing your lines, you know. It's stage presence. It's knowing where you are on stage. They were excellent, and I really want to applaud them. They were really good. Really. So, again, as I said, I, I will be brief. I take my instructions well. So, ladies and gentlemen, have a very, very, very pleasant night. Thank you very much. Mr. Roy Gomez, vocal and music tutor, to all our young and talented performers, and most important, I see many parents present here today. I pay tribute to you parents for being present here in supporting your children through these endeavors. This is what our country needs. A round of applause for you. So let me thank Mr. Roy Gomez for providing us all here today with what I expected to be a very you know, very, very exciting musical evening. Looking at the lineup of young talent, I look forward to all the performances, and I already heard two of them, and this is with a sense of excitement. I came here expecting to be overwhelmed by the collection of young stars who will perform, who were performing here for us today, and still have to perform. As a member of Parliament for San Fernando West, there are some things that I believe and always take the opportunity to point out to both San Fernandians and visitors alike. The first is that San Fernando, and in this I include the areas around San Fernando as well. I always say San Fernando is like the big sister, big brother community to the surrounding communities in South and Central Trinidad. So the first is that San Fernando and it's, it's the cultural capital of Trinidad and Tobago. There is no other region in our country with a mix of cultural expressions and diversity to be found right here. If we look at the program here today, you will see in the music, songs, and dances, the range of races, religions, and instruments that distinguishes our country from all the other countries of the world. And in diversity, there is always strength that we must celebrate. One other thing that I want you to observe and note, we are here at the Naprima Bowl, the heart of culture in the Southland. It has survived fire and adversity and continues to be the showcase for talent and a memorial to many artists who have performed here. So I want to say to all these young performers, if they're listening, I want you to consider this an honor and a privilege to perform here. Many, where many great artists have delighted us in all forms of expression over the years. I'm sure when Councillor Paris spoke just now, he was recalling his own days, like I too recall my days 
on that stage at Naprima Bowl. So therefore, on behalf of the people of San Fernando, I want to commend Mr. Um, Gomes for helping to identify, nurture, and develop so many talented young people and for providing them with opportunities to display their skills and talents to us. Mr. Gomes, who is immensely talented in his own right, follows in the footsteps of other southerners who saw themselves as facilitating the growth of talent and culture in the South and in our nation as a whole, as whole names, as you know, James Lewa, Torrance Mohammed, and of course, the recently deceased Louis Homer among them. When I look at the list of achievements of the young people here tonight, Patrice Richardson, winner of gold and bronze medals at the World Championships in Performing Arts in Hollywood, the ANSI Memorial Girls Anglican School, and we heard them just now. Their excellent performances at Sunfest and the Best Village Competitions, as well as the Ramai Trace in the school and the Creative Performing Dance Company. I know that the future of culture in San Fernando is assured. And therefore, let me say that I, I want to support this and future efforts by all of you and all those extremely gifted young people who, who will be performing for us here this evening. And let us now give a very appreciative round of applause to all of them, to our young performers here this evening. <laughs> Parents, teachers, I am indeed, you know, overwhelmed by the ability and talent that we have. It is God's gift to us. It is a gift as I said, and in diversity, we must always strive. We must always find strength. This country is so blessed with diversity. And today, research is showing all over that with this diversity, we can become an innovative nation. And it's true, this cultural fusion, together with our academics, that will allow us to do so. I pray that God will continue to bless each and every one of you, that God will bless these young performers as they continue through their journey, as they try to achieve excellence. And I pray God will continue to bless you parents, teachers, and principals as we continue to support these young ones along the, the narrow path, the right and narrow path. I thank you, ladies and gentlemen.
there will be performing Give Love on Christmas Day. And next, my, my, my little Jackson too is 